All right. Zang Zang round two. This guy is like, this guy reaches like 2100 ELO, by the way. Um, this guy is, is uh, no noob by any stretch. Um, I've seen him beat the best of the best. Um, thanks for the follow. Geronimo wins. Geronimo! He's on a much uh, shorter map, much smaller map this time, Korea, which has uh, always been one of my favorite maps. I really like Korea. Always liked this map. Going up against Aliug, again, who uh, another player who, who reaches 2100 ELO when he's playing well. Um, he's deciding to play France. I've seen Aliug uh, today. I've, I've actually got a really good game I want to cast versus him, but I'll leave a, I'll probably put that to YouTube. I'll probably just cast that to YouTube instead of uh, on stream. Um... Playing some different civs at the moment, though, to his, to his usual suspects like Aztec and Japan. I've seen him play Spain today. He's playing France now. You know, civs that he plays, but not, I wouldn't, you know, arguably not his main civs. His main squeezes. His main squeezes. So he's going down for starting TP. We. Oui. This map's always super important to try and... Uh, and, and France are really good on this map because uh, they, get a, they get a scout so they can scout where those really big treasures are. Always big food, wood, and gold treasures here. And you want to, you always want to target the big wood treasures, of course, because wood is the most important early on, generally. Food and wood. France is going to be picking up 75 food here. So I was just about to say, we, uh, that would be perfect for 12-10, and that looks like exactly what he's doing. Going to be 12-10-ing it. Oh no! Okay, I tell a lie. He decided to build a house. That's a that's a bit of a shame because he probably wouldn't have done that if he realised he'd be picking up seventy five food. But he should be able to still get a nice strong thirteen village out of this. Finding the sixty coin. There's one of the big wood treasures. There's a second big wood treasure. Aliuk sees them both. Have a look at Zhang Zhang. He sees one of them. It's always tough with Italy. He's got a very basic explorer. So Zhang Zhang doing his classic, getting a market straight into uh, houses. He's already got steel traps. He's already got steel traps. Wow, that is impressive. How's he done that? So we found 70 coin. Um, let's have a look at the top here. Let's have a look at his. Uh, so we found 20 coin. Followed by another 20 coin. That's 40 coin. Followed by 70 coin. What's that, 110 or so? And then 75 food. So, wow. Um, you know, macroing really well there to... Uh, enabled himself to get hunting dogs and steel traps. Aging up at a decent time, all things considered as well. He's He's got Gangsaw as well on top of this. He hasn't gone for his Great Coast and um, Blunderbuss, which are kind of the standard ones you go for because they're just food. But going to get them in transition anyway, so... Nice. He's on 14 bills though, so it's not that's not the best. He's uh, He has sacrificed some villagers to get that early steel traps. So it's not as good as it might sound. You know, what he's done there is not as good as it might sound. It's very, it's, it's kind of very easy to get steel traps in transition, especially when capitalism comes in, which feels like that's a way more effective way of trying to get steel traps by just allowing your gold trickle to get the gold for you. Okay, picking up 75 coin, very good. Looks like a slightly different build order to what we saw last game. But that one thing that one thing that I don't like about Italy in one sense is that they're very treasure orientated at the beginning. Every age one can be very different for Italy because uh, their macro at the beginning of the game is heavily orientated between uh, behind finding gold early on um, for for that early hunting dogs. If you don't get it early on, they feel slow. Um, so that's the only thing that's frustrating about Italy. Um, going for all those market techs is very very dependent on what treasures you find. Nice. Um, he steals the wood, though. 75 wood. So uh, that is absolutely brilliant. Alia just slipping for a second. Just snoozing for a second. 
And that can happen even at top level games. He was obviously doing some macro behind his in, in base. Wow, did Ali seriously just age up with an outpost? Oh! Well, excuse me for not looking at your deck a little sooner. <sighs> Leaving 200 gold on the floor. Wow. Has still traps in. Uh... Advanced market has come in. So he went for that uh, starting TP. He went for free vills, advanced market into four villages. I love this advanced market stuff these days. I absolutely love it. And with that, rather than having to send 700 gold, it looks like he's just going to decide to market trade to be able to get the gold that he needs. So he's selling 100 food for 80 coin. And he's obviously already sold a lot already. Goes down by one a time. Look at that. Another 200. And there's enough. Just enough. 102. That's kind of a cool idea. Because look at the time. He's aging up at what? Six minutes. He can be aging up now. Yeah. So Okay. So he's waiting for that um, CDB to get built. It could have been like a six minute 10. Um, age up. And what's he going to age up with? France do get the option of going for the Exile Prince. It is going to be the Exile Prince. So he's going to be in age three very, very quickly. So I like this. Now, yeah, I was just about to say, definitely going to want to be seeing some fur trade stuff early on here. So just going to put everyone on food right now. Okay, I'm I'm all for this. I am all for this. Can't wait to see what's going to be coming here. Does have the fort. So maybe we'll see the fort go down or maybe we'll just see an early fur trade. I think we'll see the fort first. Um, Maybe two cannons. And then fur trade next. But we'll see. We will see. He's putting a church down. I like that. Just buying 100 wood. Or 200 wood by the looks of it. Just to get that church down. Maybe just for the extra XP. XP. He also uh, buys for some uh, barracks as well. So maybe we're not going to see a 4 or anything like that. We are just going to see um, some age 3 play here. Let's go have a look at Zhang Zhang. He's also in age 3. Now going for his... This is... this is Again, this looks like a similar build. He has put a barracks down. He's going to start making some musketeers. So what's he gone for here? So he has shipping nine musketeers. Now he's aged up with the musketeers by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, there's nine here. So that's, uh, that's the bonus you get from uh, the advanced politicians. You get a few extra musketeers. I'm going to run into some skirmishes and have some two falconets though. Nice early trade, especially considering these things are only age two. Using his Explorer as well to get a snare on. That's going to allow the skirmishers to come in and do some real damage. Now he's just messing up. Doesn't know what to make of all of this. Just got pure musketeers at eight minutes ten. Okay, he's got veterancy now, but that, that takes balls. I'll tell you that. Very, such a basic build by Italy. Such a basic build. Just putting houses down. Then getting an artillery foundry. So, so basic. Shipping nine musketeers. That is not a good card. It is not a good card in H3. I mean, why you'd ship that instead of two falconets? Aliog being brave. Just diving in with five skirmishes and why not? Feel like there's going to be any cab this early on. Oh, is this going to get built in time? It is. He had to. Oh, he loses an architect though. So yeah, he had to build that to uh, use the resources to build it quicker. But I don't think that the artillery is not going to. It's going to go down anyway. Wow, now shipping 1k coin. Probably going to go into industrial uh, uh, behind this. Down another town center. He's relying very heavily on the fact that his two Falconets will be able to beat this back. Let's have a look over at Aliuk. Wow, look at that food production. We're going to see this card, aren't we? We're going to see it. He'll get about 3k food, maybe more, way more. 
he still got some herd left? He does. Wow, yes, he does. Whoa, what are we going to see here? Repris des forces. Look how many cards he's got in age four. Maxed out cards in age four. And he's, he's able to push with skirm. Wow, that is, uh, that takes some balls, I tell you. Oh my goodness me, how much gold is he going to get here? Well, it, it's not only for, is it for the same amount, it's for a greater amount. But he's going to get almost 4k food. <laughs> almost 5k coin. And now he's just going to buy, he's going to buy so much food back. Wow, some hazards coming in. Like I said, that was uh, that was ballsy by France, but he overstayed his welcome. Look at that age up now. With with two and a half thousand gold to spare. Code Napoleon. That's the um, that's the kind of eco card, uh, the eco tech from the church, I believe. Votre ordre? I think it's kind of just like for kind of like an eco theory. It's kind of similar to an eco theory, I believe. I can't remember the ins and outs of it, but just have the option of going for the young guard, and he is. I will. Let's hope we get to see the old guard this game. I love this advanced market fur trade. Uh, the, and the guy that started all of this off was Sambi. Sambi was the guy that started all of this. Um, he's been using the advanced market stuff for a long time. I think we saw that Lakota game. Who was it that did the Lakota game as well? Was it Nagatoro? I can't remember. Um, but that was definitely some uh, meta-defining stuff as well. Really, really cool to see in this day and age that metas are still developing. Some really good builds out there that haven't been defined. Look at that max now, everyone. Max on gold. Probably going to be going straight for the Bourbon Allies. Oui. Musk Gren could be a nice build here. Could be a nice comp. There are a couple of Falconets, though, so. What does he age up with? The King's Musketeer. Okay. Oui. Boom. There comes 10 Musketeers. That's going to allow him... That will be enough to get the two heavies out, I think. So that's kind of nice. Oh, 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 is it coming from here? It is. Oh, we've got 27 old guards. Let's go watch them destroy these musketeers. Oh, they're going to go flying. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Get on them Boeing 747s because you're about to take some flying lessons. Oh, my goodness me. Grens are so good. Oh, but he's diving into four Falconets. He could have been shipping heavy cannons by now. Oh, boom. I love how they get the grenade launchers. Oh, and they're... <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, just like that, he calls it. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Wow. Four Falconets getting made there, bitch. That was fantastic. And look at look at these look at these what what would you call them? Um they look like uh cartoon bombs. <laughs> look at this. Look at these. Cartoon bombs everywhere. But look at them. They get that grenade launcher card um attached with them. Look at these bombs everywhere. Uh, am I playing am I playing Link or, or Zelda or something? Wait. These guys' stats are actually insane. They actually have 10% artillery resist as well. So diving in against Falconets is uh, just that much more juicy. What a crazy build there. Could have could, could have shipped something like six curs a lot earlier as well. Um, six curs could have been coming in. Um, oh, allies could have been yeah. Any could have been coming in. Anything could have been coming in there. Spokeny Roman just subscribed. Spokeny Roman, five months, baby. Thank you very much, good sir. Wow, he was he was almost on free TCs and he decided to give up there. Interesting. Now that is the power of that that old guard tech. Young guard, you know the the middle guard. They're you know they're okay. They are okay. 
uh, situationally, you know, against pure infantry, they're good. But it's, it's all about that old guard. It's all about that old guard. That's really what tips it over the edge. And I love how he, he this is so food heavy for that old guard tech. But because of the advanced market and the fur trade, he was able to buy plenty of food to afford all of it. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll see more advanced market fur trade because people are really liking this advanced market stuff. And that was insane.